The mobile wars just took a new direction. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. In the new iPhone 5 and in the software upgrade to iOS 6, the built-in Maps app is no longer powered by Google. It's now Apple's own creation, and it's being criticized for being spotty. Users have reported cities, landmarks, and stores mislabeled or missing. But these types of mistakes are mostly coming from Europe and Asia. There is a Tumblr page called The Amazing iOS 6 Maps, where people are posting screen grabs of glitchy map moments and lack of information. Some areas are blurry and don't load. Some images come out distorted, like this one of the Brooklyn Bridge. If you want walking directions, looks like it tries to send you the wrong way in this New York neighborhood. Apple is getting its mapping data from a variety of sources, most notably TomTom. Tom. There are some positives to Apple's update. Now you can get turn-by-turn -turn directions, and some cities have this great-looking flyover feature. But if you're having mapping troubles, be aware. You can still get Google's Maps through the web browser. Just go to maps.google.com, and you can bookmark the site to make it an icon. And in other Maps news, Android users just got an update to Google Maps. Users can download areas offline and synchronize saved maps across devices. But there's no word if this will be available as a separate app for Apple users. Yep, welcome to the new location wars. Google has worked with Cirque du Soleil to create Movie Canty Revo, a web experience where you can move your body and speak to the computer to interact with the performers in a digital world. It shows you don't need something like the Microsoft Connect to have a website react to your movements. Just a regular webcam will do the trick. This could open up the possibility for some new types of online games. In a previous update, we talked about the new Fitbit Zip, a personal fitness tracking gadget. Now, these devices are a growing trend. I got lots of feedback from viewers who are passionate about their workout tech. Here are a few comments we got on Tout. I would definitely buy this. I need to lose some weight. I need to get motivated. And a gadget that can help me track my calories. I wear my Nike Fuel Band every day. I periodically check my graph to make sure that I'm getting close to green. And if I'm not anywhere near green, then I definitely will go take a walk or start doing something physical to make sure that I make my, my, uh, my goal every day. I'm cool with uh, this uh, polar heart rate monitor. It really helps me maximize my workouts. Yep! <laughs> I love it. Thanks for your comments. And if you're part of Friday's iPhone launch mania, email or tweet me your photos of the early morning lines. You can also send in a 15-second video using Tout. I love to include them on our next show. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.